um, a lot of the music that's um, very deep and special in my heart that got me through a lot of the hardest times. And as, as we all know, music is a universal language, and I believe that we can communicate better and more efficiently through music, through the visual arts, and also storytelling. So a part of this show called The Calling, it's one of my callings and destiny through my voice. I've been lucky enough to have this gift of singing and a creative side, and I really wanted to share something through the eyes of a victim and as a survivor, what it really feels like so that the community and the public can become a little more empathetic about what it really means to come through this. For example, why does she keep going back to that same boyfriend over and over again? What does that mean? Well, that's a part of survival, and it's something that we hold on to to get us through, and it's the only pain and the only thing that we know because we haven't yet figured out what our self-worth is. And until you do that and understand that you're worthy of someone's love, and that starts by loving yourself, that is a part of the process. So I've chosen music that moves and stirs your soul and your heart, and music that helped me, that in turn will help others get through what they're going through as well. Awesome. And the show is? The show's at the Egyptian Theater, downtown Boise, August 30th. The doors open at 6 p.m., and then showtime is at 7 through 9. And the wonderful thing is we have so many great sponsors here in Boise. Uh, one of them is Sun Valley Express, Northwest uh, Pacific Tours. And there's a motor coach that's going out to Payette, Ontario, and Nampa to pick up a lot of people who would like to come to the show but can't afford to drive or would rather not drive that far. So I'm very, very excited about that because now we can outreach to other counties in our whole area as well as this show is to benefit advocates against family violence in Caldwell. That's the main purpose here because they have a full campus and there was nothing like that available to me when I was young when I went through this, but they offer classes, protection. They're going to have with Terry Riley a brand new building that offers, you know, rape prevention and there's nursing on staff there. There's child care out there for these women and survivors and they're also focusing on building a men's shelter down the road as well, which is also something that I'm focusing on is men. There's a lot of men out there that have been abused and they don't talk about it. And it's important because that's a part of the cycle here. 